Hello? How's everybody doing on this fine, fine Wednesday afternoon? I say fine because it sucks out and I'm trying to get myself in a better mood. A little secret between you and me, it's not fine. It's, it's snowing here. It's your cat's birthday? Huh? Good one, Joshua. What the hell? Oh my god, no way. It does suck. I'm glad for your cat, though. Um, What's up, gamers? We're here to game today. Before we get into that, if you see this right here, if you prefer to watch on YouTube for whatever reason, I do have hosh on youtube stream going and i was testing the <laughs> chat so this is youtube chat this is this is twitch chat so if somebody wa oh look at that blake thank you give me a couple more that way the as diffs isn't on there that would be really great really great um so yeah, I'm dual streaming for the first time. We'll see how that goes. I am streaming a game that currently has five viewers in it. So when I start streaming this game, I will be the number one viewer on Twitch in a category. How about that? How about that? Earthquake. Um, I'm excited about it. But how's everybody else's Wednesday going? Enough about me. How about they? I don't love how my desktop is set up, so if you see me walking around, or looking around, that's what's going on. Boy, YouTube is behind. YouTube is real behind. I wonder if there's a way to fix that. Um... You wish Tucky Chrissy was here? What an, what an extremely rude thing to come in and say. What's up, Vanessa? What's up, YouTube? Hey, YouTubers? Look at all these cool YouTubers. <laughs> What's poppin' eh, Watts? How's it going? How's it going? Uh, Tucky Chrissy has a child and a wife. I've got a Celsius and no life. That's why I'm here. You wish Rick was here? Rick has a husband and a child. I've just got a cold that's mild. That's why I'm here. I wish anyone but Josh was here. Everybody else is busy. That's why it's just me. You wish Josh would tuck us for once? You trying to neg me into a... Uh... <laughs> you trying to neg me into a... Uh... <laughs> a tuck? A free tuck? I don't have a cold. It was just a certain... Molly stream when? Molly is being an absolute diva today. As I mentioned, it's it's uh, snow. It's snowing today, which is insane. That it was like so nice, and then we've just had shit weather. It's currently flurrying right now. It's so Molly has decided she didn't pee today. We took her out at like I don't know. Around midnight last night, before we went to bed. She didn't pee, we took her out multiple times, didn't actually go to the bathroom until I think like 3 p.m. today. Because she was throwing such a fit about it being cold outside. She like thinks that we control the weather, and she looks at us like we're the worst owners ever. And she just gets into like such a mood, and she... She's just like such a little diva. We love her so much. I think that's better for me. Let's move this here. And this here. I like that. You didn't like YouTube Live? Hey! I think Twitch has a better live streaming service as well, but this is a good way to get people onto the uh onto the YouTube, the YouTube channel. So, I don't think I said it, but if you do, if you're on Twitch and you want to go over to YouTube, um, there's a link to my channel there. 
And we'll just see how it goes. I'm, I'm going to be messing with stuff. I'm not doing a, a talk or a video or anything today. I'm just trying to get stuff set up and smooth rolling. Um, so yeah. Yes, this is the man, Quantum Ranger, long time no time. This is the man who put mayonnaise on his tacos. Yeah, Kevin's a meanie today. I don't know why Kevin hates me, but I get it, honestly. Uh, I'm trying to set up OBS. OBS is so fickle sometimes. I want to put you down here, please. Oh, okay. That works. Perfect. Okay. So, if you don't know... What you don't... If you don't know... Maybe, like, seven months ago now? It's been a while. It hasn't been that long. Three, four months ago now? A game went viral online. I played it. It was fun. Christian and Erica stole my Switch to play it. It was called... Suica Game. It was a watermelon stacking game. It was really great. And somebody just ripped their shit. Somebody... Somebody yanked their shit. What's up, Skyfall? Hey, someone here is appreciating me. They're asking us for one tuck. What if I tuck my necklace in? Is that better? Hello, Gay Bacon. Um, so somebody just ripped their shit. They said, hey, I'm gonna make that same game, but different. And that's what I'll be playing today. And we'll just be chilling, vibing, having a good time while we're doing it. As per. As per. Just the tip of the necklace. How do you even tuck in... Is that good? So, there's a game that we will be playing. It is called... Where's my OBS now? Oh, I lost my... That's why I had it over here. Let's open this up. Where is... There you go here. Perfect. Sorry, I'm gonna be messing with OBS a ton today. Sup, little pi sup pissy little slut. Thank you, Teo, for the aggressive one month sub. How many months is that now? 22 months? Hey. Thank you, Teo. Play the climbing game? Are you talking about... what? Well, what climbing game are you talking about? Are you talking about the new one? This game is not working on my OBS. You love to see it. It's called Fruit Mountain. Which was my nickname in high school. Oh, this is a perfect stream to have on in the background. This game is called Fruit Mountain. And if you don't see the vibes, they're already just... It's just a rip of Suica game. So we'll go in. We'll see how it goes. And we'll chat and hang out. How about that? So on the left, you see the fruit progression. There's three more fruit than there is in Suica game. But the basic idea is you throw the fruit onto the plate, and when they fall off the plate, you lose. Now, my goal... I guess we can back out for a second. What's up, MNP Games? What's up? Uh, my goal is there is a leaderboard. leaderboard. You see, I have played this a little bit. I am currently ranked 1,260 in the world at this game. My goal is to first break top 1,000, which shouldn't be too hard. And then I want to get top 100 in the world. Now that is going to be hard because as you can see, the top four scores, which is 4% of the scores I'm trying to beat, are just cheating. <laughs> The game is called a difficult game about climbing. That's funny. 
So my goal is, of course, to just get in and get to the top 100. It is a pretty adorable game. It's a little bit less. Um, so I, I downloaded it yesterday. It's like eight bucks on Steam. And you know, at eight bucks, it's like, why not? You know what I mean? Um, and I was a little worried that it wasn't going to quite get that same itch that Suica did. Because, you know, a copy is never as good as the original. And then I played it. And at first I was like, ah, you know, like, it's okay. It's all right. And then I played it for like two hours. And I thought I was playing it for like 20 minutes, which is the exact same thing that happened with Suica game, which is where I got it. And I was like, yeah, this game's okay, I guess. And then I just could not stop playing it. This is kind of like an arena fighter uh, for Suica game. Now, the thing with Suica game is you just got points. Did you miss anything fun? No. <laughs> you missed people harassing me, that's it. Um... It, the thing is, you get extra points if you do chains. So that's the, that's the idea of to get higher scores, but ultimately the goal is just to... combine, like, fruits here. Have you played Stardew Valley at all post-update? Yeah, Aurora and I have been playing Stardew Valley. We started a save file. Aurora and I played Stardew Valley for maybe like close to a year in the in the one save a long time ago. Aurora loves Stardew Valley. Um and then we just stopped playing it one day. I don't know why. But we've been playing it the past couple days, and it's been really fun with the new update. Christian and I should play it. I would love to play a co-op game like that with Christian. So we've been playing a ton of Stardew Valley. What's new about it? So this is like... I don't know a ton of Stardew Valley lore, so if you do know Stardew Valley lore, correct me. Um, this is like the first big content update in, like, years. Like, years. And so they added, like... Uh, new events, like new festivals to go to. They added a bunch of new items. Um, yeah, a lot more endgame stuff, but also like early game stuff. Like, hello, horizontal, <laughs> horizontal breath. <laughs> um, it does feel like a new game. I mean, again, I didn't put that many hours into it, but Aurora, like Aurora is playing it and she's put so many hours into it. Uh, she is playing it and is literally the entire time just like oh my god so she feels like like it's like completely revitalized uh the game for her specifically which is great aurora loves harvey but i think that's a i don't know i guess i think if i remember properly she actually romanced harvey a ton before her and i started dating but obviously harvey and i kind of look similar um, so she always romances Harvey, but she also, I think she tried to romance Shane a little bit ago and because he likes football and, but then she's like, now Shane's just a jerk. <laughs> so she dumped Shane. Um, I've never, I messed up that throw by the way. I've never romanced somebody in, um, Stardew Valley. It's just not part of a game that I typically, like, really get into. It's like romance options. However, right now, I do... I am just giving every single gift I get to Linus. Uh, not because I want to romance Linus, but just because I think... I don't even know if you can, but Linus is just a cool dude. Um, I just want Linus to like me is all. Your first friend is always Linus. I romance Alex because I kick out of making that stupid jack <laughs> That's one way to do it. See, and the thing is, Aurora, like, only played on Switch, I believe, before her and I started dating. She never had, like, a really good computer or anything like that. Not that you need a super good computer for uh, Stardew Valley, but she now has my old computer 
which isn't a super great computer by any means, but she has my old computer. And so now she's playing there and she's against mods in general. I don't think it's a like snart, like a snooty thing. I know it's not a snooty thing where she's like, uh, no, I wouldn't play with mods. She just like doesn't need them, you know, like, which I'm, I'm kind of the same way when it comes to games. I feel like typically with games, I get done with the game before I feel the need to mod them. The only game that I'm going to break that on is going to be uh, Baldur's Gate whenever I get back into playing it. I'm going to download mods because that game is just so good. I love it so much. I've played so much Baldur's Gate. Shane is my problematic friend. Third Valley would be putting anti-homeless architecture if they could based off of how they treat Linus. Yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff in Stardew Valley that does feel a little like, eh. But I guess like, you know, it depends on where you, I, I don't know the, the lore of Stardew Valley, like dev team or anything like that. I know it's mainly just Concerned Ape. If it's like actually he's problematic and like has viewpoints or if he was just trying to make like, oh, well, this is how they would treat you know, homeless people I are, you know, in this world. I'm on the shit out of Sims 4. This is a terrible run, by the way. This is horrible. This is just a warm-up run, though, so that's good. It'd be really embarrassing if this was a real run and not a warm-up run to show you guys how the game plays. Um, I'm just kidding. This is actually a goaded run, and I'm actually the best at this game. Ah! And I wasn't worried about it at all. Yeah! Okay. Um. Oh, come on. Let's put you here. And you here. Eh. Nice. Yeah, I, I can't even think of like... <laughs> A game that I've really wanted to mod. It's just not something that, like, really ever piques me. Other than, like... I remember modding uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion a ton, and playing it a ton when I lived with Christian, but it was all just, like, quality of life mods. It wasn't the, like, crazy ones. It was just, like, the shit that a game built in 2007 or whatever needs. Minecraft's not that fun without mods. I played Minecraft before mods, like, really existed, other than, like, like, I would play on private servers. Like, I'd play on servers that did a bunch of, like, mods, I guess. But, like, I didn't need to download anything. <laughs> just, yeah, just, like, real, realistic jiggle physics. Yeah, like, everyone has boobs. Dragons have boobs, Skyrim, realistic jiggle physics, Skyrim. Um... Just like, you know, the, the real, like, necessary ones that, like, a game just needs uh, in 2024. Bellatro? Bellatro looks like a game that I could either really get into or really hate. Um, and it scares me because of that. But I'm just trying to think, like, like, even, like, I stopped playing Minecraft in probably 2017? And I haven't played it since. Speaking of Jiggle, have you played Conan Exiles? No, I don't even know what that is. Oh my god, it is snowing so much. Oh, what's up, Katie? What's, what is up? Speaking of mods, I guess I would say Lethal Company. I played with Katie and um, a bunch of other people. Once <laughs> I played... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Lethal Company with a bunch of mods, and that was really fun. Open world survival craft RPG in Conan's world. Interesting. I'm typically not a survival guy. Uh, in terms of games. I do survive every day, IRL, but... It's like, why would I take work home with me, you know? Like, I work every day to just keep this train on moving. Why would I want to do that in a video game? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, the snow it's been snowing all day. It fucking sucks. That goddamn groundhog, man. 
What? What are we? What? Can we cancel Puxatani Phil? When is that fucker gonna get his comeuppance? He gets my goddamn hopes up. Dude, I've, I've been saying this too. If you know me, I don't say it on the podcast because it's a little bit too controversial. But I've been anti Punxsutawney Phil for so fucking long. That groundhog is a father now? Well, I hope he gets his shit together so his little baby ground uh, piglets don't <laughs> fucking grow up with a lying sack of shit of a dad. <laughs> God, fuck that groundhog, dude. This is my Hassan 911 moment. Fuck it. I'm saying it, dude. Punxsutawney Phil is a is a little little old rascal. Little fucker that guy is. This is such a bad this is such a bad round. I, I fucked this up so hard. Let's get this right here. Oh come on. Fuck it, I'm saying it, dude. Phil deserved it. And, I'll, and honestly, this is a real hot take about Groundhog Day. Not a good movie. Overrated movie. <laughs> no, I'm just anti... I'm pretty anti Bill Murray in general. Not the band. For any of you fuckers. Get in here and start talking about the band. He's just okay. I think he's just a little overrated as a as an actor. And I can say that he's also just like a bad person, which helps with my anti-Bill Murray slander. Although I've only seen I've only seen Groundhog Day once and it was for a college class. But he was Garfield. Hey, I do separate the art from the artist for the live-action Garfield movie. And A Tale of Two Kitties, of course. It's it's squeakquel. I do separate the art from the artist for that only... <laughs> yeah, he's like a bad dude, but I'm pretty sure... Like, he, he has a bunch of shit out. Like, have you, I don't know if you've seen that one super fucking creepy... He was on a talk show. I think it was the British talk show. And he's just like all over uh, the actress that he's sitting next to. I can't remember. It was an old clip. It was probably from the early 2000s, but it's like, or maybe it was from even before that, but he's got a lot of shit. He's got a lot of shit about him. I actually used to know somebody who um, was friends with Bill Murray's son grandson nephew something like somehow like related and that guy was and like however close he was right was like yeah no he is like everything you hear about him is true and more ah. i mean you could say all celebrities are pieces of shit but there first of all there are people who aren't but there's also levels to shit and bill murray like has a lot of shit Like, a lot of shit. Oh god, this is such a bad round. I think the strat here... ...is that. Can I get a strawberry in that hole? Uh-uh. I couldn't. Except I did, because I'm the goat. I'm saving this. I'm saving this. I've decided. Not Keanu Reeves, true. True. He's a good guy, from all accounts. Dolly Parton, sure. Good person, good person. Miley Cyrus, for all things considered, seems like a pretty good person. Her dad and her sister, not so much. And not her sister. Is it just her dad? That's a piece of shit.
Britney Spears. Um, I haven't heard anything bad about Britney Spears other than, you know, that she had like a complete me mental breakdown, which maybe potentially caused her to like endanger her child once or twice. But hey, who hasn't? Oh, come on, Mr. Blueberry, get out of there. Delilah says Bluey, true. Bluey, unproblematic fave, honestly. Very valid. Okay. How do we save this run? That's not a great start. Not a great start. Uh, okay, we're safe. I'm gutted. Okay. This is gonna be n the nuttiest play you've ever seen. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's- that's it. We're getting there. This is called Fruit Mountain. I am currently the largest Fruit Mountain streamer on Twitch. By viewership. It was not a burp. I don't know what you heard. It might have just been me going, ah. It is not made by the same company, but it is <laughs> very, very heavily inspired by, as we can see. Uh, see. I think I really want to push these together. I'm going to put this here to try to bolster it and then try to suck this strawberry out. Oh, come on. Well, it's going to be an apple, so we can place you here. Oh, yeah, there we go. OK, this is going great. Whoever said this was a bad run is... It was an idiot. Um... Let's see here. I guess we just want this blueberry kind of, like, out of the way. So I want to put it over here. I don't have a great blueberry line. I wonder if I could squeeze this... ...in there. But I'm worried, so I guess I just go over here. Okay. You, you guys all might be thinking, oh, Josh, that was such a bad play, but you just wait. I have a plan. Okay, and so that was a- that was just a quick tutorial round on showing you guys how the game works. Okay. First goal is to get a watermelon. And then we start playing the game. I just want to show you what a watermelon looks like. The plan was to ditch that god awful run. And then we start playing for real this time. Persimmon, pear, dragon fruit. All right. Easy. We get this over here. Thank you. Ozzy doll with the gifty subs. Woo! I don't have my alerts on and I'm sorry. Well, thank you, Ozzy doll. Persimmon these nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had a persimmon. They look good, but I do fear that it's just me thinking it tastes exactly like an orange. I, d I do think that it might just be that I think it tastes like an orange, and I, I do enjoy oranges. Do you want to see something real quick? Since you guys are all like, oh, Josh, you're not that famous, you're not whatever. Oh, yeah? I'm not that famous? Then how do you explain this? The number one Fruit Mountain streamer in the world. That's right, folks. 
I am number one. <laughs> By viewer count. So, yeah, I'm pretty big deal. Are you proud of me now, Mom? Was paying for the college degree worth it? What do you mean? There's an anime girl right there. See if their score is better than mine. Great point. Great point. Let's check it out. Oh, an ad? Uh. Best score, 3124. Mine is 3902. Okay. Now we have to wait 15 more seconds for this German ad? Question mark? Portuguese? Portuguese, my people! My people! Two 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 one five. Oh, two two one five. Ah, <laughs> oh. embarrassing. <laughs> if if we're being if we're being real. So you do get points if you chain stuff together. the The cooldown on the chain is like. It feels like it's about a second, so sometimes you can throw a fruit out and still add it to the chain. You can go fix your Sims mods? Alright, have fun. <laughs> Hello, Mini Boop. Welcome, welcome. She's trying to paint the fruit while I'm tossing him in there. Yeah, I guess... I guess so. I've never considered the, like, lore implications of her at an easel. <laughs> I wonder, can you search YouTube Live? Hang on. Can you search YouTube Live by game? Uh, How do you even go to YouTube Live? YouTube Live is so strange. Um, Live. Okay. Live now. By let's see here, Fruit Mountain Live. Okay, you can sort sort by live. I'm gonna put Fruit Mountain in quotes. Live. Yo, ho, ho! top fucking fruit mountain streamer on youtube baby <laughs> i'm the only one let's go it's hard being the top on two different platforms this game is called fruit mountain and it's just a sweet game ripoff but I, I, it's good it's a good game Not if you tell Will to start playing. Do you think he could get more than two concurrent viewers on YouTube? Fat chance. He used to. True. True. <laughs> I was a little greedy. I shouldn't have done that. There we go. I saved it. Brother, this is brother. Live head to head. Fruit Mountain games. Um, I think I'm gonna do that and then just squeeze you in there. And we can just pop that there. Yeah. This is all going according to plan. Okay. It's not going exactly how I wanted it, but it's going pretty good. That's right, Watermelon Game's back. In some ways, it never really left.
I'm fucking this up so hard so fast. Okay. This is what we planned for. Perfect. I haven't played Sweetie Game in a long time. I was about to watch the, another Lord Dumb vid, but then the top mountain, Fruit Mountain streamer was streaming. That's right. Um, speaking of Lord Dumps, the next Tashan video, so the video that comes out in like three weeks will be the next Leftist Book Club on this book right here. Uh, how to be an anti-capitalist in the 21st century. The video after that is going to be about Glee. And it's going to be the most insane video you've ever watched about Glee. I promise you that. I have been having the time of my fucking life watching Glee. Um, so the concept of the video is going to be, uh, just like going through and trying to, f trying to like, quote unquote, quote unquote, like, oh, come on. Um, scientifically, no, what? The apples always fuck me. Scientifically determining who the most evil person on Glee is, is the goal. Because, like, I, I watched the first- I used to watch it when it first came out, so I, I was, you know, it came out in like 2009, so I was a freshman in high school, or around then. I remember watching it, because it came on after American Idol. I remember sitting in the living room with my parents, watching Glee, uh, the first season. Uh, yeah, see, my mom says, Dad and I loved Glee. I don't know how far I got into it, but I- Did you recreate the Will moment when he found out- <laughs> Oh my god, the Will moment when he finds out, spoilers, that Terry isn't actually pregnant is such an insane scene. It's such an insane scene. Uh, but I started rewatching it and I, and I just was like watching it like mouth agape the entire time because uh, <clears throat> the, the show is so good to watch. It's such a fun, like, bad watch. Like, I've complained on the show, on the podcast, about, um, Grey's Anatomy and how I don't think Grey's Anatomy is a fun watch. Like, I think it's a bad show and I get why people watch it, um, in general, but, like, never on Grey's Anatomy was I, like, ever that impressed with it. It was just like, okay, I get why people watch it, but... It's just a long show. Glee has so much packed back to back to back to back every single episode. Every single episode you're watching feels like you just you just found out like seven people's life stories. And it's so dense. And like I watched the first two episodes maybe like Monday night and then I went to go work out with Christian. And I just glumped, that's what I call glee dumping. I just glumped, like, everything from the first two episodes, and I didn't really tell him how much I watched. And I just, like, glumped for, like, 20 minutes about all the shit that happened. And I'm like, oh yeah, that was the first two episodes. And he's like, what?! <laughs> two episodes, like... There's so much shit that happens all the time, it's such, and like... Um... Well, the thing with Glee, too, is, like, it's written in such a way that it feels like it was written for streaming that I can't comprehend, like, my brain forgets that it was written for TV because they wait, the way they write each episode is, like, self-contained, such a strong, like, you can pop in, watch one episode, and get everything you need, and also make you want to watch more, the way that modern TV tries to write for streaming services. Um, it's crazy. It's absolutely insane. Like, how well it's written for modern, uh, television standards. Uh, and it's- it's written so much like a modern TV series. But, what's up, Sal? We're talking Glee. 
It's written so much like a modern TV series uh, that I, for, I was like, oh yeah, I'll just watch the first season and then I'll do like a video on the first season. I forgot that the first season was 22 episodes because it was made in 2009. I was just expecting... I was just expecting it to be like, you know, a standard 10 episode season like we get with modern uh, streaming. Um... And so when I was like, oh, fuck it, the mid-series finale is episode 13. So that's where I'm stopping um, for now. So I can try to figure out how I want to do the video and everything. But it's such a it's such a great watch. But yeah, uh, three, three of the people that were like main actors have uh, since um, died. And I guess there's been, like, people in the crew that have died, too, and so much so that there's, like, a quote-unquote, like, curse that they talk about with the show. Um, one of the actors actually, um, the main actor, Finn, died while he was, while the show was on. Um, which was obviously very tragic. Is it on Flix? It is on Netflix, yeah. No, 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 it's on Hulu, sorry. Um... He he died from an overdose, which apparently he had struggles with um, addiction, but had gotten clean. But then he potentially just like when he relapsed, he like kind of like forgot that he or like he took like what the normal amount of heroin that he would have done. Um, but because he was, you know, sober for a bit, he, you know, didn't understand his tolerance had gone down. And unfortunately, he died. And then one of the other main characters who I guess was, like, kind of a piece of... No, 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 The other guy was a piece of shit on set. But one of the other main characters got caught in, like, 2016 with, like, a ton of child porn on his computer. And when this... When the... Um, when they were about to sentence him, he uh, took his own life. And then the last one was during COVID, 2020. One of the main actresses... Um was just like out on a lake with her like four-year-old son and like on a boat just on a, a lake and then uh <laughs> yeah i'm talking about this way describing your printer <laughs> um she was just on a lake and then um got hit the hair and her son were out in the water and she got taken by a riptide and she was able to like get her son onto the boat and the son was just like on the boat by himself for like hours before somebody found him um and she had been taken down by a riptide like extremely tragic uh way to go obviously um the the actor who got caught and then later was puck um i can't remember the actor's name but his character his character in the show is, is puck yeah and uh the way they decided to do it was um, when when Corey died, he was the uh, the guy who died while they were filming. He was like the main character, pretty much. Um, he was dating Leah Michelle at the time. And they sort of like went to her to be like, hey, like, what do you think we should do? Do you think we should keep filming? Which is kind of insane, like, <laughs> uh, but whatever. And they decided to keep going and then do like a memorial thing. But I guess in the show, I haven't gotten to this part yet, obviously. But I guess in the show, they just, like, don't really even say how Finn dies in the in the show. They just kind of, like, be like, oh, Finn's dead. Which is fine. It's whatever. You don't need it, but... Mark Saling, Saling yes. That was Puck. Yep. Yep. Pretty, uh, pretty fucked up. I don't know. The idea of the video is just gonna be, like, talking about who the most like categorically evil character there is because there's like the 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 series opens with the old glee teacher um inappropriately touching a student and then that glee teacher becomes a recurring character and so like it's weird because sometimes the show sometimes the show will like it's very obviously meant to be like over the top and like campy but then sometimes it'll forget that part. And so in the context of like the over the top campy, like, oh, of course the 
the child abuser gets let back on the show in a hilarious way. But then they have full episodes dedicated to, like, tackling a real issue. Um, and so it's, like, gets confusing on what they're trying to do with the messaging of the show. Which makes for great TV, obviously. Um, but it's, like, so strange how there's, like... Like someone said when I first started talking about it, like... In the opening episode, the te the main... The good guy of the show, the main character of the show... Uh, Mr. Schuster walks in on a student while he's showering because he's singing good walks in on him and then blackmails him into joining the glee club by planting weed in his locker and being like well if people find out about that weed then your single broke mom is gonna hate you so you have to join glee club <laughs> and like that's the guy that like runs the whole show <laughs> like or like is the kind of the main focus of the show and they swing between like him being a bad guy he'll do shit where you're like okay they're clearly trying to show that he's being a bad guy here and then the next episode will be like how will schuster is this like extremely nice guy and he's so selfless and he's such a good person and it's so funny it's so funny what's up empty frog Will is and genuinely an, a bad person. Um, it's very strange. And at least when they do it with the kids, um, not that any of the actors are actually like, I think the youngest actor was Kurt and Kurt was, the actor who played Kurt was like 19. And then I think the actor who played um, uh, Artie was like 20. Like they were the young ones. Everybody else was like mid 20s. But even, like, for the kids in the show, when they do bad things, it's like, well, yeah, they're a kid. They're a child. They're supposed to be 14. Of course they're doing some crazy thing. But then this grown-ass man, who's supposed to be, like, 35, is like, hmm, no, I'm going to drug, uh, or I'm going to um, plant drugs on a student in order to blackmail him. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. It's a great show. And Ali, you said, thank God Glee walks so Riverdale could run. It's funny, when I was talking about it, Christian said, like, oh, I'm I'm glad you're watching Glee, now you can watch Riverdale. And my, my Riverdale take is the same thing as, uh, um, my Grey's Anatomy take, where it is, like, I get why people watch it, because it is just, like, not meant to be super serious TV. But Glee is so much better. I used to watch Riverdale, my ex used to watch Riverdale. So I'd watch Riverdale with her sometimes. But, like, Glee is just so much better. <laughs> it's, like, such a well-written, bad show. The Grass Easier Ship. I never watched it as a kid. So I have no opinions on Degrassi. Or Degra- WATERMELON! I planned that. I've never watched Skins. Aurora loves Skins. Oh, fuck you. Oh, come on! Okay, we saved it. Sick. Have you watched every few years and cry a lot, Degrassi? <clears throat> or Skins. I never got on it. Um, it was obviously on when I was a kid, and that was when it was like its peak, but I just never got into it. I was busy watching Hannah Montana. Oh my god. No, what is going on? I'm like losing my my shit here. What the hell? There we go.
What? There we go. This is the god run. This is the god run. This is top 1000 run right here. Whoever <laughs> was talking about skins, I know you were on Tumblr. <laughs> You're talking about how like, um, the like how Degrassi was filmed in 2001. Glee was in 2009, so like a lot of the, a lot of the plot points they use are how it's during like you know the the big economic recession, which is fair, right? That makes sense. But the opening plot device, the opening plot device is Glee is getting closed, and the principals like. Um, yeah, Mr. Schuster, you can run Glee. Like, you can start- you can run the club, but I don't have it in the budget. So you're gonna have to cover the costs of running the Glee, cl Glee club. And he's like, okay, how much is it? And he's like, 60 bucks a month. Which is like... I get that it was 2009, so like 60 bucks is- was probably closer to like 90 or 100 bucks a month. But part of the problem of the first episode was Will Schuster being like, God, how am I going to hide 60 bucks a month from my wife? It's like such an unbelievable number to hear, to hear 60 bucks a month. And that's not me being like a disconnected, like, oh, 60 bucks a month. Because later they start upping the number to make it more believable. Like later in the same first season, they're like, Guys, we have to raise six hundred dollars now. <laughs> We're so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, I started school. In, I started high school in two thousand eight. No, two thousand. Yeah, two thousand eight. It's like obviously I don't. I don't have a full remembrance of, like, the value of $60. I mean, I do remember getting, like, 10, like, 20 bucks back then and being like, oh, yeah. That's a lot. Um, but still, it's just, like, such a funny, like, low number to be worrying about. Twenty bones could get you anything back then. That's true. That could get you five, four or five dollar footlongs. If you if you did the math right. Oh, come on, you know you want to touch. I'm trying to suck these out. Okay. Okay. Um nice. Melon. Did Terry have a job at the start of Glee? Yeah, so at the start of Glee, Terry worked at Sheets and Things. And part of the plot that they reveal in the first episode. This is what I mean when I say, like, they're so dense. Everything I've talked about happens in the first episode. <laughs> As a way to, like, not spoil anything. If you haven't seen it. But, uh, Terry works at Sheets and Things, and part of that, like... You downloaded Twitch to watch you build a fruit mount, I'm here for it. Let's go. Um... She works at Sheets and Things, but she has a shopping addiction. So, like, they have the money, she just hides it from Will. Is, like, the beat that they do. Um, which even further proves my point of, like, it's crazy that they were worried about 60 bucks a month. Am I rewatching Glee? Yes. Well, rewatching, yeah, I watched it when it first aired, I think only the first season, and I'm gonna make a YouTube video about, uh, Glee. So I just rewatched uh, the, the first 13 episodes. Um... And I'm going to make a video about that. Because that's when they get to... Regionals. Sectionals? Sectionals. Is that, is that episode 13? Apples are, uh, really scary. They, apples bounce so fucking weird. 
I, I want to throw this like right here, but I'm scared it'll bounce out. Fuck it. Ah! Okay. I knew what I was doing. Are there actually glee clubs in America? Um, from what I understand, I don't know any place that actually called it glee, but I know show choir exists. <laughs> um, but we we didn't have a sh like a sh like we had choir, but my school probably wasn't big enough to have like show choir. We did theater and choir, but I don't think we did show choir. So it's a, from my experience, it was a little different. It's really big in LA. Well, and the plot, the plot of, of, um, Glee is they're doing it in Ohio, which the two biggest states historically, um, it's not so much anymore, but the two biggest states for football were Ohio and Texas and then Florida. Um, so that's part of the plot is like, nobody cares about show choir. It's fucking Ohio. It's middle America. Play a real man sport type beat. Um, so that's part of the, of the plot there to, to use. Oh, that was perfect. It's almost like I planned it. My cousin is show choir going to competitions and stuff. I think the show choir is adding dancing and performances onto the singing. I think that's what makes it different. Compared to like choir where you're just standing and uh, singing, which is obviously still very tough, but I got to look at this tail lore. My cousin was part of a nationally winning show choir when they were in high school. Of course they were. You feel like all cultural departments universally hate the sports department? I mean, that's fair. It's especially in, in the United States, like with art programs getting cut so much, like all the time. And the funding mainly going to sports because sports makes money easier than arts do. So they fund the sports more. So it makes sense. I'm not saying that's right. I'm just saying that's what happened. Boink. I really wish those dragon fruit touched, but... I remember the competition show that was to go. Yeah, there's a competition show called. Um, what was it called? The Glee Project. And one of the, the person who won that was actually on Glee. Um, so there's a show called The Glee Project where whoever won it would be starring in season four of Glee, I think. Or maybe it was three. But it was when the main cast, some of them were graduating out of the show. So, um, they need to get new actors. And the person who ran, who won the Glee project was like, uh, abusive boyfriend to one of the actresses that he dated on the show. That's getting dangerously close to getting hit out. I fear my run's going to end because that's going to get hit out. I don't know what to do about it. You can interact with it just by... <laughs> I, like, bumped it back in. That's awesome. Okay, that's good to know. It's actually great to know. You think I can squeeze that pear or this peach in right here? Sure can. Well, have fun with your taxes. Um... But I haven't I haven't watched that far into uh into Glee to know uh the, the, the full drama on that. Okay. Let's go here, here. Yeah, I'm like rubbing the watermelon. That's so funny.
Uh, get back in there. Yeah, this game, it really does feel like a Suica in that regard. I was... Glee sounds like it has so much in common with Degrassi. I mean, I think any show where you're casting for, like, a teen drama, so you're gonna have, like, younger people, is just gonna be rife with... Especially back then, because shit was, like, so much looser in terms of, like, workplace protections and stuff for younger actors. And then people would get so fucking mega famous so fast that uh they just you know would go crazy with that um uh, get back in there it's just like it's just like a recipe for disaster with that kind of stuff and there's even like interviews and stuff of the glee kids because glee got so fucking massive um of them talking about it specifically just being like yeah it's crazy how how just like big we got and how we couldn't deal with it. Especially with all the shipping and stuff that goes on when, when shows like that get big. Like people dating on the show and then people expecting them to date in real life. I think we start building here. Just to dump some of the smaller stuff right now. And then we pray for the bigger stuff to help clear out this. To help get pressure off this watermelon. Ah, I tried to trick shot that in. Um, let's go you here. Perfect. Do I score? Okay. Do you know the theme of your B-Day is going to be this year? Wait, what did Lin Manuel Miranda do? I saw he was on WWE. Oh, you sent me that. This is so fucking funny. Um, no, I don't know. I'm going on a trip, um, for somebody that I went to high schools with, uh, 30th birthday. She turns 30 the month before me. And it's going to be very expensive. So, I haven't really thought about um, my birthday this year. People have been asking me. So I will have to figure out eventually, but... It's not really top of mind for me. It's probably gonna be lower key, nothing too crazy, just cause... The trip that we're already taking. Yes, Vanessa, I'm a bad uncle, I know. I'm gonna miss their birthday. That Hey, that's on Perry's parents' fault, alright? Um. Okay. Yeah, Lin Manuel Miranda walked out with the belt. I didn't see anything else other than that. <laughs> Have I seen Shameless? I watched a little bit of Shameless. I couldn't tell you why, but um, I couldn't. I don't know anything about it really. Um, I'm, I'm trying to find the Lin-Manuel Miranda video. I don't remember which TikTok account it was sent to. Shameless was fantastic, my mom says. Yeah, I've heard good things. I can't remember why I watched it. Because it's not, it's just not, typically with dramas, it's not something that I would ever put on personally. Um... Not because I'm, like, s snooty about it. I just personally never am sitting down and thinking, like, I want to put on a good drama. Um, typically, I'm watching... If I'm watching anything, it's a comedy. Breaking Bad, I watched only, like... I think I only watched the last season. My roommates watched it in college. So... Ah... My roommates watched it in college, so I, um, watched, like, a lot of the series season finales, and then I watched, like, the last season, most of it. Um. No! Damn!
Damn, so close to top 1,000. I've not watched the bear, no. Why does she smile when you fail? That's my motivation to keep going. Women love seeing a man in power fail. Alright. New high square, though. Root. True. Bear's good, but you gotta watch it with the Xanax. Yeah. I think Aurora maybe started watching it. And then stopped. I'm not sure. I remember when the bear was like popping off, right? It was like last October. But it was like popping the fuck off. So I was at a Halloween party. And um I'm a pretty Do you guys not watch TV every night? No. I'm not a big TV guy in general. Like um Aurora probably watches more than me. But if I'm if I'm watching something, like 99% of the time it's going to be um on YouTube. I'm a very online person, um, and if I'm watching a movie or a show, typically it's something I've already seen. It's a rewatch, um, just as like background music or b background noise. Uh, I've been trying to watch more up to date stuff um, just to be relevant, but I'm a very online person. Um, so we when when the bear was like popping off. There was uh, this couple at a Halloween party I was at. And uh, they started talking about shows with people that I was around. And I wasn't really super paying attention to the conversation. I was kind of talking with somebody else. But they were talking about the bear and I was like, well, I haven't seen the bear. So I'm just going to like, you know, I don't need to be directly in this conversation. And then they get done, and I guess they thought I was listening the whole time. Because the guy, who I don't know at all, is like the guy whose party I was there for is like friend. Like comes up to me, like, and like grabs me by the shoulder, like a man grab on the shoulder. And he, and he just like screams at me. Have a good one, man. He just like screams at me. And I was just like, huh? He's like, oh, like from the bear. And I was like, oh. No, I've never seen that. And he's like, oh. And then I just walked away. I was like, what do I do now? <laughs> like, what do I do in this situation? <laughs> I was like, I get that uh, maybe you've seen the show, but I haven't, bud. Oh, this is a lineup right here. No, oh, I kind of didn't. Oh, never mind. Let's see how many. I, I'm only doing this because I want to try to. Oh, no, it didn't quite get there. Get in there. There we go. Damn, didn't quite line up right. Yeah, no, it was like a really highly quoted scene. Like, because after he did that, I like saw stuff online, like people quoting that scene. It would, it would be equivalent to if somebody was talking about Dune and then I, like guy who hadn't seen Dune was just standing there and vibing and then someone comes up to me and yells least I'll glaive and then you just like what what the fuck did you just yell at me or like you like across the room someone just goes may they knife chip and shatter and you're just like what the fuck are you talking about and it's like, now I know whatever he said was like a quotable thing from the show, but like, I, that's an insane thing to just yell at somebody. Combine fruits 3,000 times soda. How about that? Yeah, true. 
It is the new... Uh, I honestly can't pronounce that. I know what you're referencing. I could not pronounce it. Um, but you're right. It's just one of those things that people start yelling, and it's great. Listen, Dune 2, great movie, great flick. I yelled Lisa, Lisa Algali all the time. <laughs> Someone online, you're not reference -maxing, maxing at all? True. Hey, I learned my lesson since then. Since then, I started watching <laughs> stuff like Dune Part 2. But like that, I don't know, that's like, like I get that the bear was a big show. I feel like it wasn't that big at the time. Like it was pop, it was in its pop off era for sure. Um, but I don't know, I just like, it's just so funny. It's just such a funny inter interaction. And then we had to leave the party early. We were only there for like, I don't know. Uh, an hour and a half, maybe. Then we had to go because we had to go to a different party. And uh, Christian and Erica stayed there. And later they were like, did you talk to the guy dressed as this? And then like, I can't remember what the guy was dressed as, but his wife was just like bloody nurse. Um, and the, did you talk to them at all? And I was like, ah, I mean, not really. He was just like, they were the most boring people I've ever talked to. <laughs> He's like, they like would just sit there and stare at you while you were talking. And then you'd be like, they'd be like, oh, where'd you go to college? And Eric would be like, oh, yeah, we went to SIU and like, you know, blah, 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 blah. How about you guys? And they'd be like, oh, we went to school with Cam. I'm like, oh, OK, cool. <laughs> It's like one of those people, like, they just didn't have any, like, you exhaust their dialogue tree with the, like, most basic response. He was like, uh-huh. That's it, huh? Boop, boop, boop. Well, that stinks. I don't know. I'll take that over, like, awkward family conversations. I get the, like, well-meaningness behind when people ask me, like... Like, I, my family doesn't do it as much. Um, they do it sometimes. But, uh... Aurora's family, like, anytime I'm talking to anybody in her extended family... Like, every time they see me, they're always like, Oh, so how's the podcast going? So do the podcast... And he's like, yep, still am. And I guess I'm the boring one in this regard. Because I'm just like, yeah, still doing it. And they're like, oh, like, you guys grow in your show? And I'm like, yeah, it's, you know, it's steady. It's growing or whatever. But it's like, I can't, I can't talk to them about, like, analytics or, like, the content. I can't even talk about the content I make. I'm not going to be like, oh, dude. Yeah, I love my job. The other day I tweeted about cum and it got so many likes. <laughs> like, I'm not going to say that's like Aurora's grandma. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> they should have a heart attack. <laughs> it's a Mormon thing. Well, there are people in her family that are like that, but not everybody's Exmo. But uh, a, a lot of it is. And like, again, they're well-meaning. They, they genuinely care. I'm just like. Yeah, like like one of their uncles, one of her uncles, uh, is uh, like suburby, a suburby like car salesman type beep. I don't know what he actually does, but car salesman like real, um, works in sales type guy. And he started going into the specifics. Actually, I think it was his wife. I think it was her aunt. I think it was Aurora's aunt. I can't remember who was asking me now. But she started asking me, like, so, like, what's your, like, five-year plan? Are you just going to do this forever? And I was just like, ah, I mean, I mean, I'm going to do it until it doesn't make sense to. So, like, so then what's then after that? You're just going to go back to working with your bachelor's degree? And I was like, um, I mean, I always could, but the idea is that, like, whatever, whatever I do, like, like, I'm gaining industry experience and knowledge, you know? Like, it's not like I'm just fucking around. 
you know, like I'm making connections and like doing stuff. So like worst case scenario, I should be able to figure something out. And she's like, oh, like what? And I'm like, I don't know. Like she was just like grilling me. I'm just and like she meant it nicely. She doesn't being as aggressive as I'm implying, but it it is just like, I don't know. Like what the fuck? <laughs> like I'm just trying to f have fun. I may physically be 30, but mentally I'm 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 still like fresh out of college. I'm still trying to figure shit out. <laughs> Five year plan, what am I an NGL exactly? Whoops, I didn't mean to throw that there. Now I have to throw that there and hope I get a blueberry soon. This this plate got real fucked up real quick, huh? I don't like this setting of pear dragon fruit, pear dragon fruit. It's not very, uh, trill of it. I guess I can just do this. Oh, Mr. Blueberry. The fruit are blueberry, strawberry. This is a... I want to say papaya. I really want to say papaya. And then peach apple, persimmon, persimmon, uh, pear. Oh, this is a prickly pear. I think you are right. Um, and then, and then pear, and then dragon fruit, pineapple, melon, watermelon. That sounds about right. I, w I didn't say it was a papaya. I was just saying, I want to say papaya. It's a kiwano. A horned melon. A traditional food plant plant in Africa. A lychee? A lychee looks a little more red than this. It's like a guabana. Guabana. A guanabana. Listen, I eat apples. That's all I got. Apples and bananas. Thief Dobby, thank you for that tier one sub. Thank you very much. Um... You guys are going to say, Josh, what are you doing? That's such a bad play. I'm putting it right there. Don't come for me. Ugh. That was stupid. This is such a bad plate. Big fan, thank you. Thanks for stopping by. You were watching the largest Fruit Mountain streamer on YouTube and Twitch at the moment. Which really is an honor. Um, boop. I might just need to kill this run. I really, I really fricked it. Unless, unless I'm goaded. Okay. This game is very relaxing. How does it feel to watch? Is it as good as Suica game? Because playing it is a... Oh! I'm goaded. Playing it is less... It's faster paced than Suica, I feel like. But at the same time, slower paced. Because I think a game of Suica would take me around 20 minutes to uh, complete. If I was getting like a decently uh, deep run. This feels like it goes longer than that, but at the same time, I'm making way more actions. But Suica had more like... Plays. Like Suica, there was a ton of plays you could do. This one, there's like... There's like a couple of plays you could do, but this one is a lot more of a slow burn, like... 
You have to really slow burn, like, play shit if you want to get some crazy stuff happening. It's like a five-year plan game, exactly. Hey, you got it. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Get back in there, Mr. Melon. Don't you dare fall out. Apple. Apple. Pear. Apple. Just honey do your best and it'll be okay. Okay. Odds can we ban? Ap a plop a a pop a a pleptic? A pop a pleptic? A plectic? A plectic? What the f up a poplectic? A poplectic? Astronaut, ban them. Thank you. Get back in there, Mr. Melon. Thank you. Thank you. Blueberry good at this game. Mods. Katie Fowl. I just realized who you are, Katie. Thank you for the uh, wonderful song submission, by the way. <laughs> Uh, I don't know where to put this. If we're being if we're being real open and honest right now. Oh yeah. I thought my headphones were fucked up, but how many times you had to repeat it? <laughs> nope. No, it was your headphones, you're right. It was definitely your headphones. It's stressing me slightly to watch. Isn't that the best? Hosh monopolizing puns into streams. That's right. You can't come in here and make a pun. That's my thing. Um, let me tell you. I only played only up. I think did I only play only up on one stream. I think if I streamed more, I would have played Only Up a ton more, because it was a really fun game to play. I actually played it a decent amount off-stream. Um, but if you want a stressful watch, that was a stressful watch. Um, let's go here. I think this makes sense. Of course it gives me a blueberry as soon as I do that. Okay, this is great. This is what I need. This is exactly what... No! What is going on with these? No! Well. <sighs> Get in there. Do not dare bump off. <laughs> I think it was just stream, but it was fun. That was a lot more. That was a stressful fucking game to watch. I'll tell you what. Mainly because I wasn't super great at it. Okay, apple. We need an apple right right in between this persimmon, melon. We need it right here is where we need it. Oh, saved. No, miss. Come on, pear. Get over there. Okay. How do we get it back? Because I'm the goat. This game is free if you're the goat. And I am the goat. This game is only like nine bucks. It's not expensive at all. Um, I think we put this here. Because this is going to do that. And then that. Oh, perfect. I get an apple right here. Oh, and a peach. Oh. And then immediately, uh, another peach, if I can position this right. Which I don't think I can. Eh, eh. Well, that was stupid of me. Is so we're gonna Steam Deck? Ah, uh, that I could not tell you. 
Have you heard of the game where you play as a plumber and you make the house dirty? I think so. That sounds familiar to me. Um, I want to put this here. Perfect. Okay. I th it sounds familiar, that game. Let's see here. Can I get this? I wonder, do we think that the the stem on the pineapple has collision physics? It doesn't. Wonderful. That was, an, that was such an incredible piece of information to learn. Okay. That would have been worth losing the run for. Okay. I don't know how I saved this plate so fucking hard. Probably because I am the goat. Um, I want this on this side. Solely because I would have rather preferred a prickly pear, but this is what I wanted to do. Um, but now I can do this here. There is a watermelon. I had it last round. My high score had a watermelon last round. In fact, I got the watermelon at like 2300 score. Oh, wait, the game is called Wanko? Jesus. <laughs> that is not a very, uh... <laughs> That's not a very, um... Great name. You can Google Wanko. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, we have an apple. I think we go peach, apple. No! Okay, we're safe. There's your apple there. We have another apple. Let's put you here. I really want... Oh! That sucks. Um, it's actually okay, because it'll bounce over. Yeah. Okay, this is this is actually shaping up great. Please. Please. Okay. Persimmons join to a pear dragon fruit. Or... Do I actually want to hit that to the left? And try to build another... Persimmon. I'll have to go to a pineapple before a melon. Ooh. Okay, I can't do that then. I have to get this here, which is actually... It actually works. Because of that. Oh, yeah. God, I'm so good at this game. A persimmon is not a fruit you've heard of. It's kind of like... Um... A tomato orange. Apparently it's native to the United States. I could not have told you that. I only know the word. I only know that this is a persimmon because in Suica game, it was a persimmon. Otherwise, I would be calling it an orange. It says southeastern U.S., so maybe Florida? It looks like a tropical fruit. But again, I'm just getting... I'm just basing all this off of the orange vibes that it gives off. Like, it feels citrusy to me. Obviously, it's not, but... The Pomeranian... Wanko is free? See, this is what I had, right? I had, I had dragon fruit pear... Well, now I've got two dragon fruit, and then pear again. Um... Wink. I haven't had a blueberry in a long while. I 
Easy. Easy. Don't do anything that you wouldn't be proud of. Easy. Okay, I'm goaded. Okay. I had blueberries today, but I've had them in my freezer for like three years. So I don't know what the inflation rate on blueberry is, but am I sitting on a blue mine, a, a gold, a blue mine, a gold mine of frozen blueberries? Are they like stamps? Do I need to be saving my blueberries? That's a bad, that's really bad. Go, go, go. You piece of shit. You piece, you absolute piece of fucking shit. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Jeez. It's tough work being the best Fruit Mountain streamer on Twitch and YouTube simultaneously. Ugh. Okay. Cheeky play, cheeky play, hmm, kind of backfired. <laughs> um, no, the U.S. doesn't say pint. <laughs> Katie's weird. <laughs> I mean, I... I guess I would never measure, uh, I couldn't tell you what they would typically measure fruit like a blueberry in. The only thing I get pints is beer. That's like the only thing you would order, I personally as an American have ordered as like a pint specifically. <clears throat> I'll get a pint of beer. Cause you don't buy them, I'm frozen! I get a bag! Like a real American. Milk comes in pints for like half and half. Yeah, I don't drink coffee. Personally. That's fair. Why don't I drink coffee? I just never acquired the taste for it. No, what? 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 I'm pretty upset. And um, this is somehow your fault. <laughs> Blake does make a very valid point. I never, I never developed, um, I never developed a, a, a taste for coffee. Um, I love the smell of like freshly brewed coffee. Like my parents drank coffee, I still drink coffee. I never developed the taste for it, and I grew up drinking. 
so much soda and energy drinks um, that I just drink that. I don't drink like a ton of soda or energy drinks, but um, if I need something, I drink that. I used to drink a ton. I used to drink like way too much soda and energy drinks when I was a teenager. Hello, Peach Peachotomy. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. You are now in, that's right, the largest Fruit Mountain stream on YouTube. I do like coffee cake. You have two liters of Coke Light? Coke Light? They call it Coke Light in South Africa? I've never heard that. Unless you meant right next to you. But L is nowhere near R, so. Can we get a hint of a cr of what creature will draw this Saturday? Um, She's not home right now, I don't think. Let me ask her. Um, I don't have a hint, but look at this guy. Look at this fucking freak. It's an Aurora original right there. That's Skinny Daniel. Aurora's working on, um, opening up a shop. I said it on this week's podcast, but it's not open yet. Um, but it will be soon. She's just getting inventory. It's just stickers right now. But, um, she should be working on getting it open <clears throat> as soon as she gets her inventory in. Um, I can show you, I can show you her Instagram. If you follow her on Instagram, it's at crust toucher. She posts every Saturday, I believe. Um, so every Saturday she's posting something. So of course here's Skinny Daniel. She redrew Skinny Daniel. It's an older drawing. Somebody, so she asked for prompts, and somebody said, "Ferret inside of a giant macaroni." And so she drew that. Is this little guy? Here, I'll make it bigger for you. And then uh, she also drew this. <laughs> this is rac this raccoon. Is there a lore behind Skinny Daniel? Um, let us see. Her, I know that her friend gave her the prompt of like. Oh, look at Judah. Gave her the prompt of, like, a macaroni noodle, or a spaghetti noodle that came to life, or something like that. I don't know where the original Skinny Daniel is, though. Now we're way too far back for Skinny Daniel. Um, unless it was here. Oh, it was. So I, I just know that Aurora's friend, like, said, like, Oh, behind Crust Toucher. Sorry. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if there's lore behind uh, Crust Toucher as a name. But she's. I know that she's getting stickers. And I know she's going to have... Um, let's see here. Where is it at? I must have missed it because I saw it before. Oh, I just fucking looked at the image. I know that this guy is going to be... Nope, that's the wrong post. This one. Nope. Yeah, I am so Instagram illiterate, it seems. It was this post, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. This guy's going to be a sticker. And I think this is going to be a sticker. And I think this one. And then I think there's one more... 
I think the macaroni one's gonna be a sticker, or maybe it was one of the ones with a bag. It was one of the ones stealing money. It was, um... It wasn't this one. I think it was... This one. No. I don't remember now. Oh, it was this guy. So this is gonna be a sticker. And it's like glitter stickers and stuff, so... She's looking forward to getting that, uh... That thing going. But, um... Yeah, if you follow her on Instagram, at Toucher, she'll... Do stuff. Um... It should be, it should be up soon. Yeah, her style is so sick. She's a very, very talented artist. But that she got some samples, and that's where I got my Skinny Daniel sticker from. And I'll convince her to do uh, international shipping for South Africa, just for you, Katie. Alright, let's get this god run in. Let's we'll see. I know to ship to the UK and to Canada, all we have to do is like, um, put like three stamps on it. But I don't know how much it would cost to go to South Africa. So I'll have to figure that out. I'm flying out for one single sticker. <laughs> Cringe game. Thanks, Will. Is it cringe that I'm the top gamer in this category? Hmm? Is that cringe? I'm trying to develop a niche on YouTube live streaming as being the only person playing this game. People are going to search up my name to find tips and tricks on how to be the best... Uh, Fruit Mountain Stacker. That was an insane accidental play. Is it cringe I'm a billionaire sitting on a blue mine? Hmm? <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Um, somebody mentioned before that they wanted me to play the climbing game. I can't remember the name of it either. I don't know if they ever got back to me or not. Um, but there's this game that I wanted Christian to play. Uh, but it's not out yet, I guess. Um, but it's like a Sisyphus game. Uh, that's not the game. But it's just like... A Sisyphusian game where you... Roll... A ball up a hill. It's called Pushing It. And I told Christian to play it. Um, but when this comes out, I'll probably play it too. But it's TBA, which is crazy. Because this game doesn't look like it would be that technically hard to, like, <laughs> figure out. But it's like a, um, uh, a, like, only up type game where the, con the controls are hard. And, you know, it's like a challenging game as you go. But it looks super, it looks super entertaining. Candy Snake game based? Candy Snake game. I don't know what that means. I don't know what game is Candy Snake. He looks like Skinny Daniel, true! Skinny Daniel has his own Sisyphusian struggle in a way. Sisyphus peered into the mist, a stone's throw from the precipice, paused. 
Did he jump or did he fall as he gazed into the maw of the morning mist? Did he raise both fists and say, to hell with this, and just let the rock roll? True. I've always said that, honestly. I just love the... I feel like the myth of Sisyphus is such a, like... It's gotta be... It's gotta be one of the, like, m most often quoted... Um... Myths, I feel like. Just a browser game. Uh, Aurora's website isn't up. I, I said it on the podcast, but it's not up. But if you follow her on Instagram, she will announce it whenever it's live. The store will, the website will be Aurora's Creature Corner dot shop. But right now it's not live. So, but it'll be Aurora's Creature Corner, all one word, obviously. No hyphens or anything. Um, dot shop. But she's already, uh, it's so funny. Um, obviously I've been making stuff online for four years now. Coming up on four years. And, uh, when we first got big, we had the, you know, the inevitable, <clears throat> um, imposter syndrome and then all that stuff. It is interesting, you know, dealing with it and getting, then, you know, now I don't really feel that way much, but. Aurora hasn't even launched her sh stuff yet, and she's, like, already talking about, like, how she already kind of has, like, imposter syndrome. <laughs> she's, like, super nervous about it, but... Ikea is good furniture if you're not moving it more than maybe once. I cannot believe you guys haven't blown up. Yeah, I mean, part of that is our own fault. There's a lot of stuff we could do that would much more optimize our, like, growth. By, like, playing into the system more, but... One, I can't be fucked. Like, I just don't care enough. I'm, I'm totally content with the way that we've been growing our platform now. But also, I'm just so lazy. I'm so lazy. Moving in a different place is just rearranging. Um, if you're rearranging, whenever you're moving anything that's particle board, you just have to make sure when you pick it up, you have to like pick it up and move it. You cannot slide it. But I bought like, like, like I have Aurora has a big eight by eight, eight foot by eight foot cube from IKEA. That was like back in the day it was only like two hundred dollars now it's way more but um we have like stuff on that and it doesn't move and it's wonderful she had it with her ex and then was in storage and now it's here and it's fine if you take care of it but like if you try to just like push an ikea furniture to move it like you would push a couch to move it you will you will fuck it up so hard Like I had a I had a particle board desk that um was great when I got it and then just I moved it from Christian's house to an apartment from an apartment to my ex's house from my ex's house to where I live now and then I moved it like once within the house here and it just fucking fell apart. So like they're great if you need something light and cheap, but if you plan on moving it a ton, you're you just know it. You have a Every time you move it, there's a good chance it's the last time you move it. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Oh my god, no way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's that chip. Yep, yeah, that's what it is. Yep. Yeah. That real cheap, like, light stuff. Which, like, this desk that I currently have isn't real wood, but it's, like, a higher quality, um, particle board. I got off, I got it off of, um, God, what's that website called? Um, Wayfair. That's a great desk. 
Um, I guess we'll just go here. Where do you buy a lot? Long-lasting furniture from? Great question. It's super hard. I feel like the furniture industry went so hard in the just dog shit direction. Ah. When I was in college, we I, I went to school in Naperville, which is obviously an extremely wealthy uh, suburb of Chicago. And we were driving back to school once from our hometown. And I just happened to be garbage day, and we were driving past a, like a wealthier subdivision, but not really wealthy. So it was garbage day, and um, they had a full IKEA set of like coffee table. Um, it was like coffee table, dresser, desk, just like out on the curb, and we only took the coffee table, but. I used that coffee table. I got that my sophomore year. I used it until my senior year of college. It was great. <laughs> and then Aurora's piece of Ikea is good, too. Like, Ikea can be good, but... What's up, babe? Somebody asked um, if they could get a hint of what you're drawing on Saturday. Now she's about to get started on it. Oh, can you, you you actually work for Rover? That's interesting. This is a lost drone. I should just kill it. They'll only see you if you walk here. In between two things, but the You're making two things? No, I'm between two oh, things. Oh, you're but she's between two things, but they're both green, she says. That's fine. Um Are they both creatures? People are asking about your shit, babe. What the hell did I just open? <laughs> I accidentally opened Command and Conquer Generals. Um, people are asking about it, babe. People are waiting. They're wondering. Also, you do need to ship um, at least one sticker to South Africa. Yeah. Oh, no. We don't, but... Is it louder? Aurora, is Teo's creature on your list? And she doesn't know. Alright, God run. I'm locking in. Is it cheat code if you press all four? I just did that, actually. <laughs> I thought it was- I accidentally opened up Generals, and then, uh... I alt f 4 didn't alt f 4 this game. Suica from Dr. Stone. Uh, Suica is Japanese for watermelon. I think Casey and Sales are in my list. I don't see Chaos, but it depends on how, like, quickly it comes. I made the plus because I wrote them down, like, the same day. It was later. Have a file. Aurora Katie from South Af Aurora Katie for I don't know why I'm saying your name. Aurora Katie from <laughs> South Africa says I love you. So you have to do it. You have to ship them a sticker. Um I'm sure it does, Ben. We'll figure it out. Um Teo, she said that Stacy's and Sal's recommendations are in the running. But what was your recommendation? I think he said he doesn't remember what it was. But she wrote it all down, but it would have been based off of when she first posted it. Uh, yeah, 
it depends. <laughs> he wrote he wrote frogs being gay. <laughs> oh, I think. Oh, you did kind of already have that. Was one of the things I was gonna, I was kind of sitting on drawing for Saturday. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, fuck it. I'm making my decision right now. Okay, she's making your decision. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. But I'm gonna draw a frog and toad. She's gonna draw, I don't know if you guys can hear her or not. Um, frog and toad on the cover of a romance novel. There we go. Or may not. Oh my god. When Aurora and I first started dating, when we matched on Hinge, the app, the only app designed to be deleted. Um, <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored. I would love to take a paycheck from Hinge. Um, allegedly. Um, babe, I have to download Hinge. We're sponsored by them. Oh my god. Um, I just get back on it. <laughs> Match with me <laughs> accidentally dated my girlfriend. Actually, that would be a really funny ad read. Like it would it would work more for a YouTube video, not for a podcast. But if we both downloaded Hinge and like refound each other. <laughs> what? What do you mean that means we'd have to break up? No, it'd be it'd be a it'd be a sketch for Hinge. Oh. Ad. <laughs> we wouldn't actually need to break up and then. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was Autism Awareness Day, that's right. Uh, oh, so we start, when we started dating, one of the things on her profile on Hinge, I think that's what that Pina Colada song is about. <laughs> one of her uh, things on her Hinge was um, that she actually, like, I think she put that you, like, led the march from a courthouse like a BLM march like you led like a local BLM march accidentally accidentally led it but she was there and just started walking everybody followed her which is so funny it's like so typical of Aurora and so um, when we were talking she sent me like these shirts and it was just like the classic like storybook frogs on bikes with the hats like the brown little that's oh, that's Frog and Toad. Oh, okay. Um, and it just said "fuck the police" on it. But I guess like a, somebody got that for their child on accident somehow, and now it's not available. Can't ever. Oh, so she said she was gonna get it for me. Um, as a present and like matching, and then we she never did, and then she just said apparently now that shirt isn't sold anymore because somebody bought it for their child and they got like. C and C, I guess. I don't know. Somebody just suggested a creature to draw. Yeah. I assume on one of your posts. Oh, we also need a Lord Dump Aurora on Crust Toucher. Huh? What? Where is the origin of your Instagram handle, Crust Toucher? I love stuffed crust. Oh, Aurora loves stuffed crust. It was that simple, folks. You, it's only if you stand right here. No, I think they left a comment on one of your Instagram posts. What is that game? This game? You were telling me about it, but like, how do you do it? It's oh. Fruit Mountain. This person's painting. <laughs> Come on. Steven, it's so good today. You don't have to tell the story on stream if you don't want to. It's not very long. I was at yoga today for the second time in like a year. And they played Sufjan Stevens and I cried. <laughs> Sufjan Stevens? Sufjan Stevens? What you S U F J A N Stevens? You've never, you've heard him before. That's an artist? Yes. You freak. Sorry. I know, right? I didn't mean to be rude. I'm giving this back to you now. What, what song? Uh, 
popular song. You're sweating. Do I? Yeah. Thank you. I'm sweaty. Um, I don't know the song. Don't probably, know. it's probably the one about cancer. Some lore on Aurora is that when she listens to songs, she very rarely listens to the lyrics. Yes. Um, it's much more vibes based. So much so to a point to where. Can you hear him? So much so to the point to where Aurora. Yeah, I mean, I have my mic set up differently than the podcast. Oh. Aurora was walking around for like a week and a half singing a song from uh, the, postal the Postal Service. And the song lyrics were like, um, I should have known that I was the one who was worth leaving. Um, but I was the one worth leaving. And so she just kept singing it. And it's like a, it's like a poppier sounding song. Like it's a happier sounding song. But she kept singing that lyric over and over again. And I was just like, are you doing all right? Like, do we need to have a talk? And she's like, huh? And I was like, you're singing a really sad, emotional song about breaking up. And she's like, oh, no, nah, I just think it's a good song. <laughs> I didn't even realize. No, I literally, um, I have literally listened to that Postal Service album my entire life for so long. Um, it is the Quit knowing my shit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've, I've listened to the whole album my whole life, and I've never listened to the lyrics, just vibes. Same thing with every other thing I listen to ever. So, now Josh knows to not be concerned and just chill with me while I'm listening to music that might sound sad from his perspective because he's freaking not music brain, he's a lyrics brain, so I'll say it. <clears throat> I have hot take. Lyrics are part of music. They are. <laughs> Not if you only hear the music, though. <laughs> and the sounds of the lyrics, but not the words. Again, it's Autism Awareness Month. <laughs> Do you like Joanna Noonsom? Oh. I've never, never heard of Joanna. What the hell? You've never heard of Joanna Newsom? I mean, it sounds kind of familiar, but I don't know. You know, you know Joanna Newsom. What is it? Sing a song. This is me doing Debt Left Shrimp or whatever you were talking about earlier. When you were like, you've heard of this guy before. Sufjan Stevens. Yeah, what did I say? Debt Left Shrimp? Shrimp? You've no, hang on, you've actually never heard of Debt Left Shrimp? Oh, okay, that's funny. <laughs> Each one pair. Hey, uh, what is the genre? I don't know if I'm in the mood, if it's sad. I'm very emotional today. Are the general vibes sad? She's not spotted like a ball of thieves. Oh. I mean, yeah, I like, say like shit. Folk in my brain Wait, is sad right now. Uh, Allie actually brings up a really good point, babe. Do you know that right now I am the top streamer for this game on both YouTube and Twitch? What the hell? Yeah. He's literally, you guys. Unless Ludwig went live. Josh is playing the still life game for the, you know, still life. He's playing a game that people paint. Playing a pretty. Huh? Still life is when people paint. Right. Things that are, yeah, you know. Yeah. But you're playing artistic game. Yeah, in a way. You're the most artistic gamer of of this game. Just stop being to say hi, hello, Celia. It's artistic awareness month, actually. Get fucked. You're right. Apple. Damn. Uh, Tail, you are 100% right. I am very um, black or white when it comes to music. Can you tell me why? <laughs> <laughs> it's April. Hello from Guatemala. I'm screaming. <laughs> Sorry. I got excited. Oh, nice. You're in Guatemala. Nice. I got excited. I know I'm right next to your ear. Thank you. 
So it is Artistic Awareness Month. Thank you, Teo, for proving me right. Unless you said you said that first. Yep. Proving Josh right. Shit. <laughs> I wasn't gonna Stop. catch you. Is it sad? Oh, you're fine. I'm wincing at the game. Touch, 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 touch. Become one. Okay, not sad. Very good. You watermelon. That's a tiny watermelon. I'm sorry. Is it not big enough for you? No, it's not. I'm uh, gonna have to deal with it though. <laughs> she knows more fruit mountain water than you, true. Aurora did fruit mountain in real life, believe it or not. Huh? What? What? You've done still lives. Oh, yes. Oh my god! Yeah! That's you. They put you in the video game. They're just freaking painting right now. Yeah. I can't read what Taylor sent. Oh. The day Lady died, why am I not a painter? Lana Turner has collapsed in the, to the Harbor Master. I want to, are my favorite O'Hara poems. <clears throat> Thanks. This is a pretty clean plate. Oh yeah, Katie's leaving. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, thanks for the banger of a game and banger chats. Goodbye, Aurora. I can't wait to get a tattoo of one of your prints and Josh keep shining. Godspeed. Top 1000 pays. Oh, this is definitely top 1000 pays. This is a pretty goaded run with the sauce. I think I want to try to build, because I'm still developing strats. I haven't played this game that much. I think I want to try to build now around the watermelon so it doesn't get pushed off. Like I want to try to get that watermelon in the center. She probably has to poop. I mean, she hasn't pooped all day. The cat on the chicken picture is the best. I need it. I'm gonna see Molly. Molly! <laughs> I can't move my desk. Molly! Yeah. She has so much sass. <laughs> hey, girl! She's such a princess. Yep, like all of her furs back. She's only missing just a little bit, but. There you go. Yeah, she's on permanent allergy medication. We tried to take her off and she immediate, itch. immediately started itching again. Thank you. Jake. Jake. She just to yeah, she needs to go outside. But it's literally the worst weather in the world right now, and we both know it. There's giant wet it's still snowing? Yeah. God. It stinks. And so will her poop. If she does it. <laughs> yeah, Molly's got like... Cartoon dog ears. She has very expressive ears. And eyes. She has like human eyes. She got them skinwalker eyes. Oh, 
Ja. Ja. I mean, it's a country colonized by England, so I imagine if, like, it's probably same rules for England as it is South Africa, you know what I mean? If I had to take a guess on shipping. But obviously that's just a guess. No, babe, but I don't think that matters. Rora would like me to inform you all that her shipping will be snail mail. At least for the stickers. At least for the stickers. This is this is the uh, part of the run where shit gets important to make good decisions. I really want to try to keep pushing these around. Yeah, and like the thing with snail with like snail mail is like realistically, it takes if you're shipping national like um, intranationally, like if you're shipping it within the U.S., like it takes like three to five business days, you know, it's like really not even that slow. Uh, I think I just have to go here, which sucks. This helps though. Ah, fuck me. Okay. I'm gonna try to push this pair left, completely missed. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. You get there. We do have an apple. Okay, that's working pretty good. We can go peach here. <clears throat> have a good one, Empty Frog. Thanks for hanging out. You're gonna miss the world record speed run. Or the world record run, but... It's cool. Um, I think we go here. Oh, can I place this perfectly? No. Why would I be able to do that? Okay. Give me like the worst fucking fruit. Um, I think we go apple. Oh my god. This is crazy. Okay. Um. Ah. Okay. Oh. That's crazy. Yeah, I feel like this game has been going super great. Like I said, like sometimes you can get a watermelon really early, and like, uh, it, your score won't even be that crazy high. Okay. I think I want to try to pull this apple out. Hmm. Interesting. This game is... It gets intense. It's a slow burn to an intense, but it gets intense as it goes. Okay. When I first started listening to the podcast, I played a game called Big Watermelon when I listened, really. <laughs> hey, it's all full circle, babe. That keeps going round and round. Yeah, sometimes I accidentally say babe, and then sometimes people call me out. Sometimes I hit him with the Will Arnett. That's showbiz. Maybe, but you were the, I think you're the second person I've called babe on 
but on the stream ever. Am I on the Council of Elders for Napod? I was when it first started. Um, when it first came out, I was on the Council of Elders. Oh my god. I'm trying to grab this off the wall, but it's like stuck. It actually completely pulled off the wall, but that's how I got this. Don't mind um, the cracks in it, because it used to be in this exact in a, this exact frame. Um, but there was a wasp on my floor, and I this was on the floor next to it, so I stepped on the gr glass flame to kill the wasp, glass frame to kill the wasp, and I didn't think that it would shatter the gr glass because I'm an idiot. And so that's why it has, like, those things, but, um... Yeah, so that's how I got this. I was in the very first... Um, I was probably, unironically, one of the first, like... hundred people to watch NADPOD. Originally. Because I've been a huge fan of, uh, College Humor my whole life. No, you're fine, babe. And uh, at the time, I was a huge fan of Jake and Amir's podcast. And so when they launched that show, I was all over it. I was all over NADPOD. And I never even played D&D &D before um, that moment. But I just love College Humor and, and all their projects they've done at the time. So I was so on board to watch it and... Hey, Jennifer, what's up? Welcome, welcome! Your aunt's in here, Ben. Um, Roar says hello. Um, so, yeah, when that first launched, I was one of the first people to be in Dropout, too, back when it was first launched. I've never seen Jake and Amir live. Um, but, I, uh, I was one of the first like people to go into dropout but I haven't I haven't been subbed to dropout since 2020 when I bought my well I guess I bought my house in 2019 so since 2019 I unsubbed from it because I couldn't afford I canceled like every single streaming service to pay for my house I loved Ally uh yeah Ally got arrested at a pro palestine contest uh, protest which is sick The, the series that Allie did with um, Grant, uh, Total, what's it called? Total Forgiveness, is so good. I tried to show, actually I tried to rewatch it like, cut like a month or two ago. I was showing it to Aurora and she, Aurora can't do couch humor. Anything couch humor or dropout. Unless James McAvoy is in it, but I don't think, is James McAvoy in college humor and dropout? And okay, so he's not. So I don't know why that wasn't. Um, but Aurora has a really, really, really hard time with anything that's uh, millennial coded. Even though she is a millennial, she has a really, really, really hard time with that. And like I've tried showing her. Uh, I tried showing her. A couple of dropout series, um, D, uh, like, I don't know if I've ever tried to show her NADPOD, but there's a podcast I used to listen to called Punch Up the Jam, which is Miel Brudeau, who you might know from The Vine. Um, ew, Megan, you can't sit with us. And then she says, actually, I can't sit anywhere because I have hemorrhoids. Um... And also Demi Adejuwabe, um, I think is how you pronounce his last name. And he is one of the funniest people in the world. It's a great podcast, but boy, is it fucking millennial cringe. And I kind of fucked up because the first episode I showed her was uh, an episode on The Cure. Which the general premise of the podcast was... 
um, listen to a song, kind of make fun of it, and then punch it up. It was all done in good fun most of the time. But she really didn't like that they were talking bad on Right I Am In Love, so <laughs> that also didn't help. Kunk on Earth. I, I watched all of Kunk on Earth. I don't know if Aurora was awake for all of Kunk on Earth. But, God, it's fucking hilarious. Kunk on Earth is so good. I don't think Aurora has seen Make Some Noise. I'm sure she's heard me listen to it at 100% speed on TikTok next to her. But, uh... <laughs> they're not 100% speed, 100% volume on TikTok next to her, but... This run got fucked, unfortunately. Yeah, make some noise. I mean, it's like with a lot of stuff, right? Like, a lot of the times, people really going for improv is, uh, it's just like inherently cringe. Like, people really going for improv is just kind of cringe. In general, um, so especially a show like Make Some Noise is definitely like that. Um, okay, I might be able to save this. That or that persimmon is scaring me, but I think I want an apple right here. I might be able to get. If I play my cards right now. Okay, I think I want you here just to. Stay. Stay, stay, stay. No, it sucked the wrong one. Oh, just kidding. I'm goaded. Just kidding. It sucked the wrong one. Ah! Jacob Wasaki. Jacob's really funny. Alright, last run. There we go. How did I... How am I launching Fruit Mountain a second time? You want this game? This game is- it's only like nine bucks on Steam, so... She does look like a, a... Like a Pokemon trainer from the anime, for sure. The woman who lived in the house next to the girl next door? I have seen that, actually. <laughs> Funny enough, I have seen that movie. Um, I definitely watched it on accident, but I have seen that. Yeah, Brennan's great. I just, I don't know, I, I literally haven't watched an ad pod since season one. Like, I tried to watch season two, but it just wasn't as good for me. But, uh, s when people were saying earlier, like, Breaking Bad was, like, their favorite show, and, like, Better Call Saul's even better, and all that stuff, like, I genuinely don't know if I'll ever consume a media, like, an ad pod season one that I would, that I love as much as that. When I was, like, first listening to it, like... It was so good. Like, they're, they have such a perfect mixture of, like, Jake and Emily and Murph and Caldwell were just so perfect together. And their characters were so perfect. Like, it was just like, you'll never be able to recreate that, like, perfect t tandem of, of Moonshine and, and, uh, I have a good one, Jennifer. Moonshine and, and Hard One and, uh, uh, Beverly. It was so perfect. Mini boop with the tier one. Thank you for the sub. Taz balance? I don't know what Taz balance is. It's just so good. Or like a, a really good way. I, I think the thing on oh the adventure zone. I haven't I haven't seen the adventure zone stuff. Um, I actually stopped listening to anything that's comedy podcast in general. Uh since I started my own podcast. But, um... What was I gonna say? Oh! I gonna say, it's almost like Game of Thrones. Like, when I first watched Game of Thrones th the first time, it really is just one of those shows that was just like, holy shit, this fucking show is so good. Like, just episode after episode was so fucking good. And that was like... With me knowing a lot of the spoilers, because I watched it after... I watched it right before Season 8 came out. It's like, I had roommates that watched it in college. I knew spoilers. Um, 
but I, it was still just like one of the best shows ever and like I couldn't stop myself watching it like I just could not stop fucking watching that show unfortunately Game of Thrones got really bad at the end <laughs> that's what always sucks about Game of Thrones it's just man it sucked at the end You know, Aurora's aunt was a big uh, McElroy Brothers fan. And, like, I had never even heard of the uh, McElroy Brothers. McElroy? Mac McElroy? I had never even heard of them before we started our show. Um, and when... Uh, when, uh... McElroy? McElroy? Um... I had never even heard of them, and then... Aurora's aunt was like, oh, you guys, your show is kind of like their podcast in Bapam. And I was like, oh. Yeah, I guess I can totally see that. <laughs> How it's it's got that similar like essence. Yeah, I don't know. I I never heard of them. Um I don't know how they slept through. Now I see them all the time, obviously. Yeah, they answered questions from Yahoo Answers, right? It's like with anything, though. Like like I said, I stopped listening to comedy podcasts. Um, mainly because, I'm sure I've said this before, but I would sometimes, like, accidentally rip bits from other shows that I listen to. And I would just felt awful for doing that, so I stopped listening to, like, all comedy podcasts. Thoughts on Twilight? I have not watched Twilight. Much to Sal's chagrin, I was supposed to watch it a long time ago, and I never did. Eventually, I will set up a watch party for that. Monster Factory and Polygon. Uh, but I really enjoyed the rest of them and bad and stuff, because, and Travis gives you major ick. Polygon was great for a bit there. They had some really great videos coming out when they had a uh, young Brian David Gilbert. Y'all, do we just throw this run and start a new one? I really don't feel like this run has any promise. This is stressing me out. Let's. I'll wait. I'll see where I'm at at 1500. I do need to watch Twilight though, just because I do. Okay, I saved it. I'm goaded. I, I always, I always think like oh, this. This run fucking sucks. Like, I should just toss it, and then I just fucking pop off. You know? I always forget that I'm allowed to just pop the fuck off. Um, but I do think- I do know I need to watch Twilight, because I do think it's gonna be similar to, uh, Glee, in the sense of, like, it being so bad, it's good. <laughs> and, like, just the cultural references and stuff, uh... That are just, like, all the- all the way throughout Glee. Or, I mean, Twilight. You need more podcasts that aren't ghost pods and all I've got is judges and ladies and tangents. But right now I listen to a couple of football podcasts and um, the Arabs podcast is the only other one that I listen to that's like <clears throat> comedy. Because I think it's I think they're all really uh, funny on that podcast. So if you need a comedy one, Arabs gives um it gives judges vibes because it's two guys and a gal but like if you get mad at us interrupting Erica you're in for a fucking ride on this one <laughs> because there is a fuck ton of um the, mainly it's Capri interrupting Frogan Like there's a lot. There's some on the A on the A Res podcast. Sometimes I have to like stop listening, and then it's like Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I do need, I do need to set up one of my 
One of my things I do need to set up that I've wanted to for a long time is setting up a watch party somehow. Working out the logistics of setting up a Twilight watch party and watching Twilight with Jet. I think it'll be really fun. I want to keep pushing this around. That's my goal. Yeah, I, I haven't watched any Twilight. And Twilight's one that, like, over the years has, like, I feel like gotten better with time, almost. Versus, like, even before all the J.K. Rowling drama and, like, just her being a massive piece of shit, I never had an inkling to watch or read Harry Potter because I just got so much from... I just got so much from media, like so, like everything was a fucking Harry Potter reference or something. So I never felt that drive to like watch it. Um, which now, of course, has it's like fine. Like nobody's gonna be like, "What? You have to watch Harry Potter." <laughs> kind of lucked out in that regard. I saw one streamer do it by having their face cam as the main video, but then showing the time marker as the video. Yeah, yeah. That's what I would all, That's what I would do, is have it so... Because you can't play audio or video, but I can make it so... You can see what time code I'm at on the video, so everybody else can watch it. Yeah. That would be the, that would be the way to do it live. Um, and get around all the, all the legalities of it. Have I seen Penta... Pentaveri? 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 No, I haven't. See, man, I can barely say it. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, I need to figure it out. Maybe I'll do that for my birthday. It'll be like a fun little birthday stream. And tie in like a... A like, donation thing or something. The thing is, unfortunately... When I watch shitty content like that, or like stuff that like, like I'm gonna want to commentate. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't just want to sit here and like watch it. So I'd be fucking pausing it and like being really annoying on the pause button, you know? Which would make it so much harder for people to watch it with me. That's why, that's the part where I get to in my brain where I'm like, oh no, we could do it like this and like that would be fine. And then I get to that part of my brain, I'm like, nah, it's gonna be super, super fucking annoying. God damn it. Uh, what's up, small might one? You piece of shit. Oh my god. There's no way. <sighs> Apple. Yeah, no, and like, that would make sense, like, when we did the Bo Burnham watch-along, we did it in Discord. Um, and when I paused it, it paused for everybody, right? But when it comes to, uh, like, if I were to watch it on stream... Oh, come on! Man, I just joined chat and he's calling me a piece of shit. <laughs> Sorry. Um... When it comes to, like, this, where it's like people are relying on my time code, like, them knowing when to pause and everything is... Probably gonna be annoying. Although I guess the audio wouldn't be messed up, so I guess it wouldn't be that bad? I don't know. It's a show about a secret society with Lydia West and Mike Myers? How have I never heard of a show with Mike Myers? I love Mike Myers. The television miniseries? Even better? Oh my god. 2022? Is it funny? I might watch that. I love Mike Myers. Alrighty. I mean, I don't know. He could be doing a serious role. You know. Kind of, yeah, sure, yeah. 
And like, especially, I guess when I think, when I ask, is it funny? It's definitely more of a, is it a ha ha funny? Cause you have a show like the, re not the rehearsal, um, the curse with Nathan Fielder. Nathan Fielder's a comedian. I wouldn't say the curse is a funny show. It's got comedy in it. It's not a funny show. <laughs> like the point of it isn't like, let's all laugh. <laughs> It's actually a pretty fucking existential crisis show. Hey, I gotta break it to myself. I don't think those pairs are ever gonna touch. Um, and this is gonna make a pair if I throw it here. So let's throw it here. And do this. Damn. I had moments where you left out loud? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, okay. If you get two melons to touch, it disappears. I haven't even gotten a second melon yet, so... I'm sure that's how it works, though. I'm sure that's absolutely how it works. Do, do, do. Okay. You fucking asshole. Honestly, I fucking hate this game. I don't know why I'm playing it. Okay. We saved it. On the go. <sighs> you know, right now, I, I don't know. I guess we talked about it on the podcast. But if you guys haven't watched Three Body Problem, I would highly recommend it. It is a great show. It's it, it unfortunately like I do fear it's gonna just turn into Game of Thrones because it's the same showrunners, where they're gonna get like arrogant and fuck up season two and three. But uh, it the first season was very good. What's it about? So, it's based off of a book that came out in the light, late 2000s, I believe. It's a book series, trilogy. And the book is entirely set, like, in China, and all of the scientists that it's about pretty much are Chinese. But they Americanized it, or they Westernized it for the Netflix series. But it's, like, everybody... Uh, physicists around the world just start, like killing themselves out of nowhere and this like super secret detective society is like trying to figure out why and you follow the like um you follow this oxford five which are five physicists that all went to oxford and like their story and you you try to figure out like the show goes through like why they're uh why they're killing themselves and like all this stuff and it's it's like this existential threat type show that's very very good i, I really really enjoyed it it wasn't super anxiety it wasn't as anxiety inducing um do you like dr pepper uh it's okay i couldn't tell you the last time i drank dr pepper they kill themselves because, uh, well, you see why. I don't want to spoil anything. Um, have I seen the happening? I have not seen the happening. It's very good. It's just one of those shows where, like, I, we put it on because I heard about it. Um, and Aurora fell asleep, and I sat there and watched it until three in the morning the night it came out, and I was just like, this is so good. I need to keep watching it, and I finished it the next day. Okay. Boink. 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 What's the show called? It's called The Three Body Problem. It's very good. And it's like, it's only 10 episodes. You know, it's like a nice bingeable little show. And like, um... Someone said they didn't watch it because they said it was gory. There's one really gory scene 
but it's one of the like coolest concepts of like a gory scene in television like it was just like the lead up to it and everything like you know it's coming it's not like a gory scene that comes out of nowhere you know it's coming the whole time because they keep talking about it um but when it happens it's like such a cr fucking like amazing scene like um in universe it was just so cool okay let's bring you over here mr apple nice um have you seen beef on netflix no i haven't i haven't heard of beef if it's just one scene yeah i mean i'm sure there's like in the opening episode i'm there's probably a couple of like a little bit of gore but um nothing like super crazy that i can remember okay oh this is actually perfect if i get a prickly pear it's placed pretty pre pre precariously. I cannot speak very well today. Okay, don't move. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Okay, apple, apple. Um. You piece of shit. That's okay. That's not bad, actually. Ooh, you got a new tier one subscriber? Oh, misled Mike. Thank you. Thank you very much, Katie. Katie, you're still here. <laughs> Thank you, misled Mike, for the sub. You go play Content Warning? I, I hear about Content Warning. I hear it's a good game. I hope you have fun. Um, you pop back in to tell me about Mike. Okay, thank you, Katie. <laughs> and thank you, Mike. You played it. Was it fun? Is it similar to... Uh, Lethal Company. Okay. Hear me out. Pear is going to stick right there. It's going to... Or Peach is going to stick right there. It's going to behave. And then it's going to suck the apple over. And then it's going to hit the persimmon. And then it's going to hit the pear. And then it's going to hit the dragon fruit. And then it's going to hit the pineapple. And then it's going to go into a melon. Fuck me. God damn it. Piece of shit. Lethal Company is better, yeah. Lethal Company was fun. Have you seen The Brother's Son? It has Michelle Yeoh from Everything Ever All Once. I have not seen that. Like I, I said it before, I'm, I haven't, like... I don't really watch a ton of television. I'm typically watching a YouTube video and playing a game at the same time. That's my go-to time killer. It was funnier watching the stream after, so I wasn't funny in the moment. I see. I read through the the little your little backhanded compliment, Katie. Um I went I wasn't always with you, true. True, I forgot how the game worked. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I like I said, the game was fun, but I just never had the calling to play it again. 
I mean, all I remember from that stream is, uh, with the Lethal Company stream, I, I obviously wasn't streaming, Christian was, but I, um, just one round, I was like, because we, we did like two rounds super fast, like we failed both times, and so I was like, oh, I'll just be, I'll, 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 uh, roleplay as a mute character, so everything I said was on a sign, and I think that was the first game that M joined in. And M joins in, and I'm just like, Josh, are you seriously not gonna say anything? And I just wrote on my sign, like, no, I'm in character. And then that round went so long, and I was like, <laughs> I was expecting to die in three days. I didn't expect to go for seven fucking days. <laughs> no, yeah, you were confused. You weren't saying it mean. You were just like, Wait, Josh, are you really not talking? <laughs> I was like, oh, it was funny as a bit, and now I'm stuck. Seven days and I was mute the whole time, yeah. It was pretty funny. Which just added to the, the humor, but... There's a lot of motion that needs to be happening right now, and that is not happening. I'm thinking... I have two apples. I could go apple-apple, but there's no guarantee that these apples play nice, or that strawberry plays nice, and I might just end up with four fucking dragon fruit on this plate. But I'm gonna go for it. Oh, yeah. That was good. That was great. You love to see it. Okay. So now what's the plan? The plan is definitely going to be try to build... Because now the, the... Unfortunately, the pineapple's on the wrong side. Of the melon. So... <laughs> well, I didn't mean to do that. We have to try to build another pineapple here, which I just fucked up, but that's okay. No way! No way! I can't believe I just saved that on the goat. I can't believe I just saved that I am the fucking goat, but that's crazy that that apple bounced that way. Okay. You piece of shit. Ugh. Okay. What? Why did my... Oh no, now it covered it. I might have just thrown so fucking hard. Okay. I just need to get rid of these right now. I do have a peach. Okay. We saved it. Just remember I can pop off true. Thank you for reminding me. That's a really fast pineapple. New I score? Oh no. We got some bad motion going on over here. Next blueberry, I get it. It's going over there. Um, I have an apple next. I don't love seeing an apple next. Okay, two apples is better. Um, I don't love seeing another apple. 
Apples just roll so unpredictably. Uh, where do I want it? I guess... I guess... I just... Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. You piece of shit. You fucking piece of shit. God fucking damn it, ass. God damn it. Oh, top 1000! Oh! Alright. Last run. Remember when I wanted to throw that run away? Ah. Oh. Last run. Goated run. I just gotta remember to pop off. The pop off is so key. It's so paramount. Speedrun dragon fruit any percent incoming. Time. Did somebody get that? Thirty seconds. I could beat that. Oh, you know what I kind of wanted to do this stream was do the uh, name 100 women challenge. Pineapple, any percent time? Just to see how many women I can name. But, oh well, too late. It's not women's not month anymore anyway. Name 100 autistic people challenge? Should I do that? Poor Christian, he was so stressed. But, like, it was so funny. Like, I thought he did pretty good, all things considered. Like, knowing Christian, he did pretty good. Name a hundred poems? Boy, could I name ten poems? Hmm. I don't know if I can name ten. The sepulchral and the sepulcher and the sea. Sepulcher and the sea. I'm trying not to look at chat because I'm sure Teo just said like five of them. Um, uh, um uh, fuck, what's the name? I know that it's two roads diverge in Yellowwood, but I can't remember the name of that poem because I feel like the name of the poem isn't like, Two Roads by Robert Frost. It's like... It's like fucking Choices or some stupid artsy shit, you know? The Road Not Taken. Fuck, that's what it was. Name 100 Arabs, it's Arab History Month, yeah. Um... Fucking... Brogan. <laughs> Capri Sun Bobby, raffle ticket. Um... Uh, Rami Malik, Rami Yusuf. Um, BB is uh, is Beefy Netanyahu? I know he's from Pittsburgh. I don't know if he's Arab or not. <laughs> the road less traveled. Oh God, no! Somebody hacked Katie. No, no, no. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> you know, like, the, the fucking classic, like, dumbass dudes? Um... I remember when I... When I... Because I feel like maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm incorrect here. Uh, Frost wrote the road not taken as a joke Make fun of a friend who was seeking meaning in a meaningless action But the friend misinterpreted as some profound thing It's one of the most incorrectly interpreted poems ever You know that's really funny Teo Because every time I've ever Heard it The last line of like Two, two roads diverging in yellow wood And I, I took the one less traveled Sounds so fucking fake and pretentious Every time I've heard it I'm like What a fucking lame way to end a poem Um That's funny that you say that. But you know how, like, the worst guys at your job, whenever Women's History Month comes around, are like, um, what about Men's History Month? They they turn into Muscle Man from, um, regular shows. They're just like, you know who Aves has a month? And they're always like, what about Men's History Month? How come we don't celebrate that? And it's like, well, dude, you can. That's the thing. Like, <laughs> you just don't. Um, my man. So, I feel like, and again, I could just be wrong because I was young. Women's History Month wasn't like a thing celebrated until like 2017, right? Like when Trump got elected. Like I'd never heard of like Women's History Day or month, right? Uh, which is fine. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I'm surprised I didn't see more fucking dumbasses. With the cutie Cinderella name a hundred women thing being like, oh, how come we don't name a hundred men? <laughs> I'm just surprised I didn't see that. I guess there's a pretty niche online thing though. I think the muscle man impression is like one of the one impressions um that I have never lost the ability to do there are some impressions I used to be able to do pretty good and I just don't practice them and I lose it muscle man always comes naturally Muscle Man's great. What a great character. You can do the, no, like you can do. I've heard you do the Minecraft eating noise. Do your best, Christopher Walken. I've never been a good Christopher Walkener. Um, I know it's very similar to a <laughs> Muscle Man, but I've got a fever. Like that's my best I've got. Which kind of. It, my my Christopher Walken, I feel like, sounds like somebody making fun of um, John Travolta in Greece. Like Sandy. You know what I mean? Uh... Okay. This is fine. This is great. This is fine. Okay, strawberry and now where I wanted that blueberry bud. That thing bounced. I do an impression of him doing a Christopher Walken impression, yeah. I think that's a good way to describe my Christopher Walken. But there's like the impressions that like every guy can do, right? It's always like Christopher Walken, uh, Smeagol, and like I can't do any of the ones that are like the ones that like every guy can do. Like I can't do a good Yoda. Yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Yeah. Never, never been a good Arnold. Although I've never been like a super great impressionist. I used to be better, but I've never been like super great. 
I'm a lot more of a mimic when it comes to impressions and stuff. Like if I hear, if I hear someone doing it, if I'm around it, I can pick it up pretty good, but to be able to store the memory, to have the, uh, to have the, um, what's that called? Like epigenetic, like, <laughs> I don't have that epigenetic sense of like being able to with, like, re, like, uh, recall, like, how to do a voice. Which is why when we first did the podcast, I did do British a ton, because at the time I used to watch a ton of Love Island. What did I say? Epigenetic? I meant to be, like, my ancestral traits. Like, I don't, like, my, my people's, my, my parents and my parents' parents were, were not impressionists. <laughs> I was not born with that talent. I was born with the talent of how to stack fruit on a fucking plate. That was my natural born talent. Okay. Apple. Oh, come on, you... Now, of course, they're not gonna touch. <laughs> That's fine. I didn't really have anywhere good for that to go. Huh? Last run, babe, I swear. <laughs> this is the god run. Um, huh? Pineapple? Then do a Jennifer Coolidge. I can do an okay Jennifer Coolidge. You know what's really funny is back this everything comes back to Glee, really. Um, I've never noticed this before, but the actress who plays um the the school therapist or the guidance counselor sounds like Jennifer Coolidge so much. That that peanut yeah, but she she kinda talks like that. Like she has that like long, elongated way of speaking. Ooh. What do you got, babe? Do we want to see Aurora's sketch? One's in chat for now. Two's in chat for, yeah. A lot of ones. <laughs> Alright, babe. Oh my god. Oh my god. That dude getting his fucking shit croaked. Oh my god. Dude's croaking his shit over there. <laughs> Just in time for... Yeah, it's alright. It's Frog Awareness Month. Everybody knows that. Toad. Frog and Toad Awareness Month. They stopped reading for it. Sex so good you'll put down your book. But now I'm nervous about copyright infringement. Oh, that's it's fine, babe. You will not get sued by a frog and toad. I think I might just make them different colors. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you added Harry Chest. <laughs> I mean, it's not Disney, so I think you'll be all right. Well, I know, or I don't know, but I'm assuming that they've been cracking down. Why? 
It's a transformative work and you're not selling it? Well, theoretically, she would sell it. I would. But. If I sell prints of this, I'd probably get a trade. I don't think so, babe. Personally, I don't think so. Okay, Teo. Your doctor. Your doctor? <laughs> He is a doctor. <laughs> no, he is a doctor. <laughs> I'm probably going to make everything much brighter. Like, the colors much brighter. But I get in trouble if I sold them as print. Yeah, no, you're fine, babe. It's transformer enough. You'd be okay. That'd be like people, like... Like, our Menti B shirts are, tech, are protected under fair use. Even though they're based off of the MTV logo, it's transformative artwork that like replaces the. It doesn't. It, the thing when it comes to IP is does the thing you're creating, um, like, uh, uh, parasitize or like market replace the thing that you're doing, and your thing doesn't because your thing is a completely different work of art. It's based off the drawing where they're on the tree branch and read, but on the original they're on opposite sides and reading. Yeah, you're fine, babe. Okay. You're so smart. Yeah, I'm a doctor. And you're smart too, Tail, because you're a doctor. Well, you were smart before you were a doctor. I'm sorry. But... <laughs> no, Tail was not smart before he became a doctor. What the hell? Game over. That was the God Run. This is your fault somehow. Those g damn gay frogs. All right, last game, I promise. Speed run. <laughs> Speed run. <laughs> Hang on, you know what I should do? Um, do I not have the speedrun timer? Hang on. Okay, good luck. Thank you, everyone. Um... Oh wait, no, that's wrong. <laughs> Aurora, Katie says you're the coolest artist. Excited about your stickers. Love you, B. She said, don't ever say that again. Um... Yeah. No, not display capture. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to do a window capture. That's what I was trying to do. Thank you. Okay. I don't have the speed run timer downloaded, apparently. All right, we are speed running. We are speed running a dragon fruit. I will, I will, um, go back to title. That way I don't have any advantages. And three, two, one. Oh wait, that's fine. Oh no, go, go, go. Okay, okay. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It was about 30 seconds. That's kind of crazy. Like a 30 second dragon fruit. That's what we like. That's what you guessed around last time. That's kind of crazy. How about that? That was a pretty clean run. Yeah, they're number one fruit run play. True. True. You're not saying anything factually incorrect. Alright, this is the god run. This is the last run. We're speed running it as well. That's how god of a run it is. It's gonna be able to be speed ran. I 
almost popped that dragon fruit out. <laughs> An apple in a hundred or in a minute. I wasn't even speedrunning either, really. In a minute? Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, well. I don't know about that. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get out of there. Get out of there. No, nope, get out of there. <laughs> it's just getting worse. Um, that's okay. This is all fine. This is all fine. This is all planned. You guys are probably sitting over here like, Josh, what are you doing? You're fucking the god run. Don't worry. I'm about to pop off. Now you guys are forgetting that I can pop off. You know what I mean? Like, it's all good. Just gotta have the sickest, sickest strats this side of the Mississippi. Okay, perfect. Because that was planned. Everything you're seeing is a hundred percent calculated. This one just takes a little bit longer to calculate, but you got to see the line. You got to see the line. You got to trust the process and you got to see the line. You got to trust the process and you got to see the line. Okay, here we go. Okay, that was a small line and a small process. There's an even bigger process in line coming. Okay, slightly, slightly sh longer process in line. Okay, all right. There is a, sh a, a a blubbery in there. Okay. Now we have a strawberry in there. Okay, we'll go apple here, that way this can go bop 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 bop. You love to see it. We want to push this dragon fruit over here, so I'm just going to put a, put a beach there. Hey, put a beach. Just got to trust the process. There's a whole long process and a whole long line.
Okay. Okay. You love to see it. Ah! Okay, that was all planned. We all planned that. You guys saw how planned that was. Which is all totally planned. It's all the part of the line. Okay. Perfect. The last run. Unfortunate that this next one's gonna be ac the actual last run speed run. Let's get the timers ready. Timers ready? Let's see if we can beat 30 seconds. I'm gonna start when it says go. Ready? Go. Oh no, the timer's- hang on, the timer's not on. Properties. Uh, where'd it go? Okay. Here we go. Retry. Oh, I fucked up. Is what you might say if you weren't a master at this game. But you see, I was playing the long game. And of course the long game is to play it the worst the, the worst possible run you've ever seen. Holy shit! I almost saved it just by spamming pushing the button. I almost got a sub 30. Okay. I might have been sub 30. I don't know what my reaction time is. Which does beg the question, how high of a score can you get just by spamming spacebar? Really, you don't know how good of a player I am considering I'm the only person who's seen play this game, and I am the top player, but maybe my score of 4313, even though it is top 1000, as we all saw, wasn't that great. Maybe I could just spam spacebar and get a higher score. So let's test that. Holy fuck. Why is it still 30 seconds? <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Alright, let's see how... Let's see how far it goes now. Not there. It went 30 seconds. Alright, folks. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. If you're in the YouTube chat at all, and or if you're watching this as a VOD, hello, thank you. Um, <laughs> it's like 30 seconds to ripen. Um, thanks for hanging out. I had a good time. This was mainly to test the uh the multi-stream function. But also have some good time, some good old gaffs, some some good old gaffs drama laughs, as we all love to hear. Um Uh, we'll see in the future. I do enjoy gaming streams. Um, and if there is a, 
I didn't realize you had a YouTube chat going, and I was like, who are you responding to? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this, this was the YouTube chat. This was the Twitch chat. The YouTube was for my, my YouTube channel, um, Hashan. Uh, and it looks like, you know, anywhere from six to three viewers the whole time, so that's not bad. Um... So thanks for sticking around if you were here on the YouTube, if you're still here, appreciate it. Uh, when we go to do, because obviously I do a lot of the judgy streams now as hash on videos. I'll maybe try to do more gaming, but I'll probably do it more on my YouTube channel. Or maybe I'll do it the opposite. I'm not sure. Who knows? Who knows what's going on? But if you haven't checked out Hashan, go ahead and do it. It's a great YouTube channel. Everybody loves it. The reviews are in. It's the best YouTube channel in the world. I mean, wouldn't you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel of the best Fruit Mountain player? Or the biggest Fruit Mountain player in the world? Really? That's right, subscribe and ring that bell, that way I can keep paying Blake. <laughs> we can keep making great, great content. Shoveled right into your eyeballs. Um, thank you all for hanging out, and I will see you all later. Bye!